My god, it's that time of year again. Hi. I'm the video game analyst, and don't mind me, I'm just celebrating Christmas how I always do, by celebrating what the gods over at Ubisoft have graced us with. Okay, so I'm assuming you won't just sit there and follow my beliefs all willy-nilly, so why don't I take you through the origin story of this great treasure? So Ubisoft don't really have the greatest reputation for, well, you know, good games. But one year, that year being 2012, Ubisoft had an ace up their sleeve, or a four-leafed clover if you will, and that clover taking the form of a sports-based minigame collection for the Nintendo Wii U video game console. Hi, I'm the Video Game Analyst, and don't mind me, but have you accepted Sports Connection as your Lord and Saviour? Oh, Jesus Christ, not this again. Jeez, the nerve of some people. So let's set the stage. It's less than 365 days away to the supposed end of man, and the London 2012 Olympics have just taken place. Over at Ubisoft, their image as a quality games company is starting to fade away, and some elite members of the company have a master plan to make a game infused with divine energy, to give the planet its last hurrah before it would inevitably pop its clogs later that year. And that game would be none other than Sports Connection, and was slated to release alongside the brand new Nintendo Wii U in November of that year. This game would release simply titled as Sports Connection, as you all know, but American Sports TV Network, Entertainment and Sports Programming Network, more often known as ESPN, could see what was brewing behind Ubisoft's doors, and they had to get a piece of that holy pie, so the game was released under their company name as ESPN Sports Connection in NTSC regions. Okay, so I think it's about time you see this fine specimen really speak for itself. So booting up the game you're first greeted by a language selection. Normal enough I'd say. Wait, what's that beeping sound? Oh, it must want me to play the game. This truly is the complete opposite of annoying. It really runs home the fact that this game is great and you should play it as quickly as possible. Shit. Autosave. This game was really ahead of its time. Ah yes, more beeping. A sports connection staple at this point. Whoa, this looks just like me! So we're first greeted by a screen showing all the game's content. Yep, there truly is plenty to last you a lifetime here. Alright, so first off, we'll be looking at tennis. Okay, so looks like we have a choice between match and cannonball. I'll be playing match as Cannonball is multiplayer, and for some reason everybody said no to playing Sports Connection with me. What are they, f***ing high? I turned down a funeral to play this. So you have a selection of length of match, a selection of 7 courts to pick from, and a difficulty selection. I'll pick easy as this game is a bit too advanced for common folk like me. Mastering this game is like attempting to do a front flip and a back flip at the same time. Okay, I'll pick Violet Fury, my favourite Incredivengers character. Okay, so now I can pick from the gamepad or the Wii Remote. Oh fantastic, this requires Wii Motion Plus as well? This game really does push the Wii U to its limits. Why else do you think it takes a solid 2 seconds to load up the avatar selection? These loading times definitely are here to build up suspense. I mean, they obviously did this on purpose. Slow and steady wins the race, am I right? So playing with the Wii Remote, you can use typical motion controls used for tennis in games like Wii Sports and... Wii Sports. And you can use A to do some sort of run up and down the pitch. 
I especially love this game's dizzy mechanic that flat out stops you from running at random intervals. Really adds some nice challenge. Using the gamepad to control gives you the intuitive controls of swipe up to serve and swipe down to hit. I mean, what else did you think it would be? And pressing ZR allows you to run up and down the pitch. Continuing on the topic of great controls, throughout the whole game, you press minus to pause because, you know, plus is just way too predictable at this point. Dare to be different, as they say. So after we wait for this low resolution laggy transition to pass, as I said, really pushes the Wii U to its limits, I'll be given Cannonball a try. By myself. Wow, I am such a rule breaker. I know I said I wouldn't, but, you know, I'm not a sinner. So to play Cannonball, you move the gamepad around and launch balls at the player to hit. So next we have Golf, with its two modes of Stroke Play and Caddy. First off, we'll be playing Stroke Play. <laughs> Wholesome naming. So you can pick from a number of holes and hole. I'll just leave it on one for both and one and gun this thing or I actually will have a stroke. From pure excitement that is, they really should put a warning on this game. So for this game the Wii Remote is required and there are no controls for gamepad as it's clearly too busy displaying a map. So caddy mode is golfy. Next is baseball which has the modes of Exhibition and Tournament. I'll play Exhibition because I actually value my time. That's why I play Tournament instead of sleeping now and again. So using the gamepad, you swipe where you want the ball to go and then hit it on the TV with the Wii Remote. Wait, this is one player, isn't it? Really goes that extra mile for single player content. So I could just be lazy and say I like the game and move on. So next is Football, or Soccer, or whatever. So in this mode you play Football. Just like in baseball, golf and tennis, you play baseball, golf and tennis. Just plain old baseball, golf and tennis. You could just say this is a lackluster game with a bare minimum of content and generic uninspired sports games packed in to make a quick buck and that I secretly despise this game and want to stop playing as quickly as possible. And if you think that you are completely wrong, this isn't just some game you can explain like it's nothing, if I actually went into depth with explaining the intricacies of these mini-games, then I just wouldn't be giving this game the justice it deserves. So next is Go-Karting, which is definitely the best mini-game of them all, and definitely makes Mario Kart prime bin food. So first off you're greeted with options for number of laps, a selection of 11 tracks, with 5 being reused. I mean, can you blame them? and a difficulty setting. So once again you can either use the gamepad or the Wii remote. Using the gamepad you can use gyro or analog controls. And you use ZR to accelerate, ZL to drift, and A to use the magnificent boost meter. And when using the Wii remote you can use 2 to accelerate, 1 to boost, and B to drift. And you can also change the steering mode with the A button if you prefer D-pad controls. Personally I do prefer to use the D-pad for my sports connection racing experience. Now honestly, I don't think the Wii U had what it takes to run Sports Connection, neither does any console for that matter, not even all these new fangled 9th gen ones such as the Xbox Series X. You can see this with the gallons of abysmal pop-in that happens throughout the racing minigame. So there's also a time trial mode, just like any good racing game which isn't as good as this. And I don't know whether you've noticed, but this mode has some great background music. That's some of the gold you've been hearing in the background of this video. Okay, so last is American Football, which, much like baseball, also gives you the choice of exhibition and tournament, along with a number of minutes of play, a choice of two fields, and a difficulty selection. And this one is a Wii U and gamepad game, and it takes a solid year to load due to the Wii U's incompetency. Okay, so I'll be honest, I really don't know what I'm doing with this one. I'm clearly from the UK so I don't have the slightest idea how this sport works. So I just ended up drawing lines on the gamepad and going from there. Okay so the last thing you can really do is go into settings and take a look at the credits of the game and see what true Messiah's made this art. Wow, this really tugs at the heartstrings. Even the credits have a low frame rate. So that with Sports Connection, and I can tell you feel just the same way about this exquisite game as I do, because haven't you noticed the abundance of flawless features such as its graphics and gameplay? But there's a bit of a problem. Sports Connection has now been made illegal on the grounds that I...
pest of a neighborhood going door to door like a Jehovah's Witness talking about that bloody sports connector game every Christmas. They can't even get the name right. So that's my Christmas ruined. I gotta get out of here.